What's going on guys? It's your boy Fred X back at it again inside the kitchen with another recipe video for you guys. Uh, and before we get started, I just want to go ahead and point out thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for liking the video, ringing the bell. If you want more dope recipes like this, go ahead and subscribe right now so you can get that exclusive, exclusive recipes. The ones that your mama won't teach you. I'm telling you this right now. But look, let's, let's get into the recipe. Today we're making quesa tacos, birria tacos with the consomme. You know, you got the tacos with the juice and you dip them in the juice and you, mm. It's gonna be a good one, guys. You wanna stay tuned for this one right here. We're gonna cook it in the Instant Pot. And if you have an Instant Pot, this recipe is right up your alley. And I know you're gonna love it. Let's get into the recipe. So first off with any recipe, you're gonna need some ingredients, right? So we got beef broth we got a bunch of ingredients actually you're gonna need salt and pepper obviously some new mexico chili whole cloves whole cumin mexican oregano this is not it's not the funky oregano trust me on that but you could put that in there if you wanted to uh, we have some pasilla chilies and chili arbol. And we got cinnamon stick. We're gonna need a little bit of cinnamon. I know it sounds crazy, but it's gonna make it taste amazing. And then we got a uh, choice beef chuck roast, and I got this for $9. If you had a Kroger card, this is, this is, a, this is a $18 piece of meat, and I got it for nine bucks, dude. Big savings. You're gonna want at least like two to three pounds of meat. All right. And of course, you gotta get yourself a nice Mexican beer for when you're cooking. You can't cook without having a beer. Especially if you're cooking this kind of meal. Today we have Pacifico Citrus Agave Lager. This is a brand new beer that they have out. I'm gonna go ahead and give a rating of this beer as well while we're cooking the recipe. So enough talking, you guys got the ingredients list. Let's get going, let's start cooking. So right here, what we're doing is we're getting our chilies, our dried chilies, and we want to take the most seeds out of them that we can. I know it's going to be impossible to take all the seeds out, but you want to try to get every single seed out of these chilies. Uh, the chili arbol, you can leave them in there. Um, they're smaller chilies, so you can just toss them inside the uh, pot there. Um, after you get them all seeded out, you're going to want to get a small sauce pot like the one you see here in the picture and you're gonna dump them inside there. And now would be a time to add maybe one or two Roma tomatoes as well if you want that flavor in there. I actually opted in to get a tomato slice in the quarters and throw it inside there. So I only put one, it worked out well for the flavor, it tastes really good. Then what we're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and take it over to the sink, fill it up with water just till about it covers the chilies because we are going to put these chilies on the stove and bring this dry chili mixture to a boil so that the chilies can rehydrate. Everything gets all, all spicy and juicy. Oh, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. After your chili comes to a boil, like you see here in the video, you're gonna wanna turn that off, obviously. Go ahead and take it over to the sink, dump it in a colander there, drain all the water out and make sure to get some of those seeds. I wouldn't hit it with the spray of water, just kind of let the juice drain out. Um, go ahead and um, throw that inside a blender. That's the next step. So as you see here, I forgot to mention, you're gonna wanna actually put your spices inside the blender first, and then your chilies on top. The next step is we're gonna go ahead and pour about two cups of beef broth inside there with it, with about a cup of water. We're gonna blend that up. As you will hear in about three, two, one. After you blend it up, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and check your seasoning. This is a good time to go ahead, and get that spoon, taste it. If it needs more salt, go ahead, throw two big, three big pinches of salt in there to fix the seasoning. I did, I put about two or three pinches of salt. Go ahead and add pepper if you need to. Any other seasonings as, as well can go in now. All 
All right. Now, depending how fatty your piece of meat is, you're gonna wanna go ahead and trim off most of the fat. Now, with this particular cut of meat, it did have a pretty large fat cap on the backside, so I had to take that off. And there were some parts in between. Now, this was a uh, Nolan Ryan Angus beef, so I had to uh, finesse my way through the fat because some of that fat is absolutely necessary for the beef to break down when you put it in the Instant Pot. You know, it's pressure cooking, so it's melting all that fat down. So some of the fat is good. You wanna leave some of the fat. Um, and after you cut off all the fat, you're gonna want to salt and pepper your meat. If you wanna add onion powder, garlic powder, you can as well. That's what I do here. I go ahead and throw on some uh, black pepper and salt. In the meantime, while the Instant Pot's heating up, before I stir my meat, I wanna go ahead and give my thoughts on this Pacifico Citrus Agave Lager. It's got a bit of a tang, um, very acidic. Maybe after you go swimming in the pool, I would have one or two of these max because this, like, you can already feel like, ugh, you know that feeling you get in the back of your throat when you're about to have, like, heartburn or something? If they're having way too too much acid yeah this is gonna give you that so i would uh definitely go sparingly on this but i'm glad you guys are following the recipe i'm glad if you guys like it go ahead and hit the thumbs up go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my recipes that i put out jesus christ next you want to sear your meat you're gonna brown it on both sides get that nice caramel color um, I threw in the sauce into the Instant Pot with the beef inside there. And I'm going to put another cup of beef broth and we're gonna let it do its thing. So yeah, your mixture should look like this, so something like this. I'm gonna give it a make sure it's all coated like that. Man, look at that. Ceiling setting. And we're gonna pressure cook this for 54 minutes, 55 minutes. And then we just let it do its thing. And I'll see you guys in 55 minutes with the results. I did some stupid little prep work and I cut some stupid little onions and some stupid little cilantro chopped up some more onions. I'm gonna grill those up to put on top of the tacos maybe, or eat them with the tacos. And uh, yeah, we're waiting for our stupid little meat to cook in the Instant Pot and we'll be ready to eat in an hour. So I'll see you guys in an hour, Grr. <coughs> Boy, that smells fire. All right, after it is done doing its thing. Witness the glory. Look at that. Oh, yes. We got to skim off this top layer right here because we're going to use that fat, that beef fat, to fry the tortillas with. Ooh. Boy, you better hush your mouth right now. We just want that top layer. That's enough to fry some tortillas up. Next, we gotta grab our meat and we gotta shred it. So what I have found the easiest way to accomplish the shredding of the meat is to grab two enormous forks, stick them into the pieces of meat and vigorously shred the meat. You got to shred, 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 like you're shredding personal information. Shred them apart so there's nice strands of meat. This next step is gonna make you salivate. I know it, I hope you're ready. You want that consomme. Get the juice in there. That's what I'm talking about. Queso Oaxaca is the cheese that you wanna get.
right, when our pan is nice and heated, you gotta dip our tortilla, right, in the beef fat. Get it nice and coated in that beef fat. And then what we gotta do, drop it right on in the pan there. Let it do its thing. You're gonna let it cook until it blisters up. So obviously you can cook as many tacos as you like at this point. Uh, the consomme, you put it in a cup and top it with onions and cilantro and you are ready to go. This is what the final product looks like. Oh my God, I cannot wait. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dippy dip. And Mm. Ten out of ten. This recipe is amazing. I really hope you guys try it. Please subscribe. Please subscribe and ring the bell so you guys can mm, get the next recipes. Cause god dang. Mm.